Adobe, Adobe has absolutely f Man, oh man, did they do it well. Now, ignore my graphic description of what I'm talking about because what I'm talking about is the recent update from Adobe which came out on August 20th. The new update has removed an effect called Channel Blur. It's removed an effect called Threshold and, and numerous other ones which will no longer allow us to add halation to our videos like we once did, thus making that old tutorial that I have ineffective and impossible to do if you're using a new version of Premiere Pro or at least the most recent version. If you're using an old version, you're still good for now, but the second you update, it will be gone. So this video is hopefully going to correct that with a new solution that I came up with this morning on how to add halation and bloom to your videos. And at the end of the video, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it in After Effects because it's a lot faster and easier to do in After Effects and it runs a bit better on playback. So we're going to try to fix all these things in this video. Let's get into it. This is the second time recording this intro because I wasn't recording on the mic the first time. Let's go in Premiere Pro. First and foremost, you guys know this, but just in case you're new to the channel and you haven't watched one of these before, click Alt, drag the video layer that you want to apply this effect to on top of itself. So duplicate that. That means this bottom one can be turned off and you'll still see it because you have a duplicate. Keep that off for now. On this duplicate here, as you guys would might expect, especially if you've already been here, go to effects, type in Luma key. We can drag that on. Luckily, we still have that. And then Gaussian Blur as well. Now, you'll notice that it already made our footage look a little different, and that's okay. That's what we're doing. We want to do this. So under Luma key, the threshold and the cutoff that I always go with are roughly about 88, and then about, I don't know, anywhere from 80 to 82. So let's just go 82. You'll notice that what it does is takes all the shadows and crushes them to nothing and keeps only the highlights or the brightest parts of the image visible. Um, this can be adjusted in these numbers. You can drag these around and figure out what you want to do. But again, I like these numbers pretty much for most situations. So we're going to keep it there. Under Gaussian Blur, let's raise this to like 100. Maybe uh, 90 is better. So this is what we want. Now, if we turn back on that bottom layer, you'll notice that you'll get this glow look. That's the bloom part of the bloom slash halation effect. So we're good here. We still have it functionally available to us. But the next part is what changes things. The next part is what you and I might not want, but we have to do. Uh, go ahead and select this bottom one again by pressing Alt and then clicking it. That way it only selects the video layer. I'm gonna click and drag this again on top of things. So now we're back to square one where we were. But now under our project panel or wherever you might wanna put this, right click, new item, go to color mat. Make sure it's your sequence settings that you want. These are my sequence settings, so I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna choose, and you can tell here what I'm kinda of doing if you're, if you're thinking ahead here. I'm choosing the red color of halation that I, you know, roughly, that I'm going to use as my halation color. So halation color, right? We'll name it that, press okay. Click and drag this on top of our footage. Click and drag it to the length of your clip. And then both of these need to be highlighted, right clicked, and nested. You'll understand why I'm nesting this here in a second, but Let's go into that nested sequence. I'm actually going to bring the color mat below the footage, and I'm gonna go back to my effects, type in track mat, click and drag that onto a halation color, color mat, choose the mat layer of video, whatever the video is on, so in my case it's three, so video three. And then from here you wanna go ahead and choose mat alpha and switch that to mat luma. You'll notice that you can now see the footage, but it's very red, of course, as it will be. And you can go ahead, come back after we're done here and adjust the opacity of the red, for instance, if you're not a fan of how red it is. Go add or search for a Gaussian blur, so Gaussian blur here. Click and drag that onto the red mat and then increase the boringness to whatever you feel is good. Um, in my case, I think like 50. So again, 50, we'll save that. We'll go back into our original sequence. We'll see that this footage looks wacky right now and that's to be expected, at least from my memory of when I did this. Um, now on the nested sequence, let's go ahead to our blend mode and I went ahead and I changed this to overlay. So you'll notice that now it has a more reddish hue to it than you'd like it to have but it is so slowly getting to look like we wanted it to look. Um, we can also go to screen here. We can change it to screen. We can change it to lighten. Really, I think that overlay does the best job here out of the ones I've chose with. And again, because we're going for that filmic, collated look, the, the kind of red tones don't completely throw it off. And we're gonna adjust a little bit here. But realistically, this gets us close to the ballpark of what we used to have. Now, I would suggest bringing this down to like 60%. We don't want to overdo it. It's super easy to overdo. And in fact, my Luma key here, I think that I'm going to take my Gaussian Blur and bring it down to about 40 because I also have the blur on the other layer. And you'll notice that if I turn off my halation, right, here's our original footage. 
Here's the Halation version of it. It's getting there. Again, it's not an ideal fix. It's, it's not even what my favorite look would be, but it's close enough. How about we do this in After Effects with a lot less clicking and, and maybe make it run back and play back better too. Okay, so if you don't know how to open Premiere Pro footage in After Effects, right click on the footage itself in your timeline, replace with After Effects composition. It'll open After Effects here for you like this. And it will ask you to make a project name here. We went ahead, we named our file, we saved it. Now we have something here. Let's go ahead and Command D, duplicate it. We want to do again, we want to duplicate things. We want to go ahead and add a levels effect. Here we want to take our histogram. We want to take this on the histogram itself and slide this up to where you're only getting the highlights. Again, all we're doing is creating that threshold effect that you saw on the last thing. So now let's take our midtones, bring that pretty close to the blacks and we'll keep these pretty much how we see it here. Now this looks like crap, again, we'll fix it. So let's go back over here to effects, go to curves, under color correction curves, click and drag this onto your footage. And we're gonna pretty much go ahead, take our whites and just bring them super far down to nothing. Put a point in the middle here and slowly start bringing back those whites until we start seeing just the white sections of our footage that needs to be bright. We'll go back over here. We'll search for shift channels. There we go, underneath channel, shift channels, drag that on there. We'll go ahead and turn the blue off because you don't get blue inhalation, you get red and some green. So we'll go ahead and just go full off, turn that off. From here, we'll go ahead and we'll type in channel blur, which we still have in here, by the way, so thank God. So red blurriness, let's go ahead and do this about five or six. We'll just start with five. Green blurriness, let's start with like two, maybe 3.5 and we'll bring red to like 6.5. From this, now we need to actually add this to our footage so it overlays and it doesn't look like this because this is not obviously what we want. Let's go ahead down to Ahoyation. If you don't see what we're working with here, toggle the switches, you'll have modes, which are blend modes. Go ahead and press normal, go to add. That will add what you just did to the base footage. Now you'll notice that if I turn this layer off with this eyeball icon, we start with that, now we have this. In the highlights, you'll see there's just a tiny bit of you know blur a little bit more redness to the footage than we had a minute ago and, and that's because we added these effects now one thing i noticed about this is that it doesn't really look red on this footage particularly now you might have it look just fine on a dark piece of footage but mine's really bright it's in the middle of the day and and that's to be expected that it's not going to show up the same so what we can do is just take our red warriness and we'll crank the hell out of it to like maybe 30. to start seeing the redness form around the edges of our highlights. Um, let's even bring this to 60. Let's really exaggerate it here. We'll bring our red boriness or our green boriness, I mean, to like two. Cause I want more red than green. I know technically there's green in it, but preferably I think the red looks better. And then we'll go ahead and we can throw on a Gaussian blur. We can drag that on there. We'll just change it to like 15. And you know, that's essentially a form or a look of halation that we can do in After Effects. Okay, so now I know that this was a bit deeper than usual. This was a bit more of an intense tutorial than usual. It's raise this chair. But that's that's really because Adobe has screwed us and we have to find a way to keep going with our work and doing the things we want to do in, in a new way because our old way has now been removed for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe there really is a problem and that's why they got rid of it. But I'm uneducated as to why they got rid of it. I just know they did and I wanted a solution to fix that. So. This is my solution. I hope it helps you guys. I hope you guys can tweak it to your likings because it's definitely not as good as the old one, but it is about the only way I've found so far to somewhat get the same look out of my footage. Please subscribe down below, but only subscribe if you're gonna come back and watch more videos. Otherwise, feel free to not subscribe. That's cool. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Again, let me know what you think of this new version and if this is an acceptable form of halation or if we just need back the old effects and we're not gonna settle for less. <sighs> All right. This feels fitting. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.